Hello, hello, good evening. Good evening. How are you? Hello, students. Hi, teacher. Hello. Good evening. Hello, good evening. Okay, we are almost complete. Great, 16 students. Very, very nice. Hello. Hey, it's a pleasure to see you once again, to see your beautiful faces again. That's very nice. Well, how was your day? How was everything? Fine. It was good, it was fine. With a lot of work, right? Yes, we have a lot of things to do. But it is good that you are here and that you have this little moment for you to relax, for you to practice, for you to learn a little bit more. <clears throat> okay, so tell me a, a little bit of what we did yesterday. Do you remember? Uh huh. Demonstrative pronouns. Demonstrative pronouns, good. <clears throat> it is always necessary to have your notebook there for you to write mm -hmm. a little bit of what we do, right? This is going to be like in the school. I am going to say, okay, revisión de cuaderno. Teacher, <laughs> no. It's a... This, that, that, these, and, and those. Okay, you say these, right? These, because you are showing this. it. That. That. You have uh, these. these. And those, no. right? Because you are not pointed at them. Okay, very good job. Remember, you remember that it's good. Okay, I am going to start sharing my screen with everybody. Today is our eighth class. It is pretty awesome. Time flies when you are having fun. My God. <clears throat> the class agreements that we have, remember, practice your English as much as possible. Attend your classes, keep the cameras on so I can see you practicing and work on the educational platform. I know that many of you have been advancing a lot, right? If you have any problem, any difficulty on the platform, just send me a message that I try to help you right away, right? I try to help you uh, as soon as I can. So today we are going to study a little bit on expressing preferences. We are going to um, review a little bit on how to choose different things or different offers. As yesterday, we were talking about products or things or prices, uh, <clears throat> prices in the market when you go and buy something, right? We're going to continue on that. Let's see. So as we were checking on the previous class, we studied demonstratives, prices, objects that you can buy, and some of the expressions that we learned yesterday. Oh, that's too expensive. That's cheap. That's reasonable. That's a very good price, right? That it's, those are some of the things that we did in the previous class. And for sure, we studied also the meaning of colors, right? The different colors that you like and what do they mean? Today, we're going to have a little bit of practice on grammar right, for us to have it very clear. To start the class, we are going to go over this little conversation that we have here. This is very similar to the one that we did yesterday. Okay, so if you remember the one we did yesterday, you are going to be very clear about this conversation for today. Here on the top, you have the options, right? Here you have the options that we can use over here. Right over here, you have the options, right? And here you have the different spaces that we are going to fill up with the options. So let's see here. I have the first one right here that it says, look at those pants, Rebecca. Which ones? The light blue ones over there, they are nice. What do you think that will be the next sentence to complete the form here? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Uh, 
read it? Well, I like it, but it's expensive. <clears throat> well, I like it, but it's expensive. Very good job. Because you say, uh, the light blue ones over there, they are nice. You say, uh, well, I like it, but it's expensive, right? It's like, oh, no, thank you. Thank you, but no, thank you. Right, yes, I like it, but it's expensive. Mm, well, what about that sweater? It's perfect for you. Which one? Huh, which one? Very good. Which one? This red one. Yes, but I don't really like light blue. I don't really like light blue. <laughs> okay, let me see. I think we can switch the options. It says like the light blue ones, they are nice. I say yes, but I don't really like like blue, right? In this case, because we can complement it better. Well, what about that sweater? It's perfect for you. This red one? Well, I like it, but it's expensive. Hey, let me buy it for you. It's a present. Oh, Sam, thank you very much. Oh, Sam, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Very good job. So you say, look at those pants, Rebecca. Which ones? The light blue ones over there, they are nice. Yes, but I don't really like. Yes, like I blue. like it, but it's expensive. Okay, but I don't really like like blue, you say. Well, what about that sweater? It's perfect for you. Which one? The, this red one. Uh, yes, I know. Well, I like it, but it's expensive. Well, uh, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Oh, Sam, thank you. Oh, thank you, Sam. Oh, Sam. Thank you very much. Okay, very nice. Tell me, have you ever have you ever received a very good birthday prize or a very a very good birthday uh, present? Yes. No. Han recibido, han recibido algún regalo que ustedes digan, ah, that's the best that I have received. Mm -hmm. No, never. <laughs> and your husband next to you is like, come on. And all the ones that I have given you, no te gustaron. <laughs> Okay, so in this case, she's going to receive the sweater, right? The red sweater. And it says, let me buy it for you. It's your birthday present. Oh, thank you, Sam. Thank you very much. Good. So here, uh, I have some options, right? To practice these, that, these, and those. Remember, when you have the things in your hands, it is to use this or, uh, well, this in singular or these in plural. And if I am pointing at the object, I say that or those. 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 So I have four pictures here. The backpack that you have it in your hand, the bracelets, the shoes, and the dog. I need you please to write the questions in your notebook for the four exercises. Go ahead. And you have the oh. first one. Well, you're going to read, write three only because you have only one. So you say, how much is this backpack? It's $31.99 because you are showing the backpack. How much is the, this backpack? Write the sentence number two. What is this bracelet? Uh, do you think that it's uh, in much? How much? That. How much if the singular? How many? How many bracelets do you have? Two. Two bracelets. Uh huh. So you say how much? How much that? How much? Two bracelets. You, do you need is or are? 
How much are? What is the plural form? No. Do you have it in your hand or you are pointing at them? It's those. Uh -huh. no. um, singular. That is plural because no. you have two bracelets. This. Okay. Okay. Los it's estamos this. señalando. You cannot. You cannot say this. If you have it in your hand, those. it's this. But if you are pointing, oh. it's those. Esos. Esos. Mm. How much are those bracelets? They are twenty nine dollars. And what about the shoes? Are we pointing at the shoes or do we have the shoes? We have. We have the shoes. Number three? We, we have the shoes, right? We have the shoes. So you say? How much? How much? How much? How much? How much are these, are these shoes? Are these shoes? Yes, because it's plural and you have it in your hand, right? How much are these shoes? Good. And the next so, one. How much, how much is, is this is at all? Is this this? Uh, well, no, you are pointing at the dog. Oh, so. Uh, so, how much is this? That, that. How much is that dog? Is that, uh -huh. Hey, that's that. my dog. He's not for sale, right? Remember the four forms of demonstratives that we have, right? We have this and that for singular, right? This and that for singular. That for singular. This, if you can touch it, that if you cannot touch it. Si lo podemos tocar y estar al alcance de nuestra mano, this. Mm -hmm. Si lo podemos señalar o está lejos, that. That. Uh, for the next one, you have this, that it's longer. This. El, el primer sonido es corto. You say this. 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 The second one is these. These. Okay. And the next one is those. Those. Estos, esos, aquellos, right? These, that, these and those. 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 Excellent. Now, Is let there, me see. Yes? Y yo he escuchado que, que dicen también como this. Yes. It's because maybe that would be a, a problem in pronunciation, right? But the pronunciation is these. Yes. These. Yes. Right? These. Okay. Okay, I am going to show you different things. Okay, I am going to show you, um, let me see. I think I have one here. Oh, yes. I have here an object. Can you ask me the question? How much is this book? Can you touch how it? Lo pueden tocar ustedes. No, how, how much is that? How much is that? Is that, is that, is that is that book? How much is that book? It is uh, $20. It's expensive. Oh, very expensive. <laughs> it is very <laughs> expensive. <laughs> <laughs> Two dollars. <laughs> Come on. Let me see. I have another thing here. Hey, I have a dictionary. I have a dictionary. How much, How much is that? How much is that dictionary? dictionary. Well, it is uh, $34. That's okay. Yeah, it, it's very nice. Let me see. I have another. It's reasonable. Okay, I have this bottle of water here. How much, how much, how much is that? Is that, 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 that water? water? That bottle. Water. How much is that bottle? I think it is $15. Really? Yes. <laughs> Fifteen. That's cheap. Yes. It's cheap. It's cheap. Uh, it's dollar. expensive. Yeah, fifteen dollars in Dollar City. We can find uh, the ones in two dollars. The problem is that the water goes out, and that, that I don't like it. And that's a problem. So, the crystal bottle is fifteen cent. Fifteen cents. Yeah, but you have to use another one and another one every day. Yeah. You have to think green. Come on, recycle. 
Okay, René, show me one object. Oh. Any object that you have there. What is it? A, a remote control, no. What is it? No. Bocina. Ah, a speaker. How much is that speaker? Uh, How much is that speaker? Uh, I think $15. $15, hey, that's reasonable. That's reasonable. Give me two. <laughs> Give me two. Navy, show me one object. Oh, a watch. What? What's How much it? is that watch? Um, ten dollars. It's ten dollars. Hey. Ten dollars. It's it's a very nice price. Yeah, I think it's, it's good. beautiful. Yeah, it's I love the color. That's very nice. So this is the way we use it with how much. Remember, thank you for the for the models of the night. Remember when you have it in your hands, this singular. That is when you cannot touch it. Singular. Plural, these if you can touch it, and those if you cannot reach it. Okay, so let's continue with the exercises. Let's continue here. And I'm going to erase these answers. And we have this one here. Good afternoon. Oh, hi, how much is this watch? Because it's only one. And maybe the person is touching it. It's 195. And how much is that? One. one. That one, one. Because, one. because you are using that. So you know that it's singular, right? How much is that one? It is or they are? It is. Aha, it, it, is. Is. it is. It is. It is because here you ask for a singular one. $255. Oh, really? Well, thanks anyway. It's like, thank you very much. I will come back. And then you leave. I imagine the face when he says, oh, really? Imagine if you go and say like, hey, what a beautiful cell phone. How much is it? $400. Oh, really? Thank you very much. <laughs> Thanks anyway. It's like, <laughs> what? ¿Qué? ¿Qué pasó? Ah, they are calling me. Bye. <laughs> then you just go out. <laughs> so, uh, good afternoon, people here of the store. Hello, good afternoon. Oh, hi. How hi. much is this watch? It's $195. And how much is that one? one? Um, <laughs> It's two hundred fifty-five dollars. Oh really? Oh really? Well, thank you. Well, thanks. <laughs> anyway. Thanks anyway. <laughs> thank you very much. Bye bye. Let me see. Let me see who is going to be my customer. Mr. Jaime, you are the customer, and I am the clerk. Good afternoon. Oh hi. How much is this quite? It's $195. And how much is that one? It's $255. Well, really? Well, thanks. Anyway. <laughs> thanks anyway. <laughs> Bye. <They say. laughs> Excellent. Let me see. Mr. Oscar Guardado is going to be the clerk. And Rosa Maria, you are the customer. Luis. Good afternoon. Oh, hi. How much is this? What? It is $195. And how much is that one? It is $255. Oh, really? Well, thanks. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you anyway, right? Very good. Excellent job. Alicia and Fatima, go ahead. Good afternoon. Oh, hi. How are much this watch? It's one hundred twenty-five. Ninety-five. Uh, Ninety-five. 95. 95. <laughs> and how much is that one? It's two hundred uh, sixty-five. Oh really? Well, thanks anyway. <clears throat> So you see, it's like, oh, sorry, someone is someone is calling me. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks anyway. <Bye. laughs> the perfect excuse, you see. 
regreso mañana. Ay, yeah. I will come back tomorrow. Voy a ir a comprar otras cosas y ya vuelvo. Mm -hmm. Yes. Well, let's go with the next one, right? In this one, we continue the conversation and it says, excuse me, how much are those? Those, right? You have a jeans, are those, right? In are this those case, jeans, jeans is, plural. is plural, right? Because you don't have only one leg, right? How much are those jeans? jeans. They are only 59. They are only 59 dollars. And how much is this? This, 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 this sweater. sweater. How much this is sweater. this sweater? Sweater. sweater. Which, which, one? One. which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? Which one? They are all different. They are different. They are. I like this green ones. One. 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 Okay, because it's only one, right? I like this green one. And it is? It is. It, it is. It's $34. $34. $34. $34, right? Well, that's not bad, right? It is. It's affordable. It's very good. Mm. Okay, let's see. Mr. Edwin, you are going to be the clerk. Okay, I am going to be Kim. Excuse me, how much? Consulta. Yes, go ahead. Is it, uh, they say, uh, Kim, and uh -huh. how much is? No, no, perdón. Don't declare uh, which one. No es ones, porque es plural. No. No, no, because you say. Sweater. You say, how much is this sweater? ¿Cuánto es este sweater? You say, which one? ¿Cuál? They are all different, right? Because in this case, the plural form is uh, in this one. When they say they are all different. Which one? Mm -hmm. ¿Cuál? Uh, because you are only asking for one sweater. And say, how much is this sweater? Which one, you say? They are all different. Okay, this is another sentence. And in this one, it's when he mentions the plural form. And he says like, no, todos son diferentes. And you say, oh, I like this green one. So in this case, it is singular, but it's good. It's a very good observation. Thank you, Thank Rocio. You. It's a very good observation. Very nice. I really like when my students are very critical and they say, but why? Huh? But why? It's not only like, yes, that's it because it's the teacher, right? It's like, it's good. Good. Uh, my customer. Okay. It was, where are you? Where is my customer? Hello. Edwin, go ahead. Hello. <laughs> Excuse me. How much are those jeans? Uh, they are only $39. 59 dollars 59 Ah, sorry. Hey, thank uh, you. 39 <laughs> Give me two. <laughs> Hey, okay. It's a good price for you. Okay. Yeah, uh, you they are only $59. No, ya me dio $39. Hoy me lo llevo. Oh. $39. Okay. okay. And how much is this sweater? Uh, which one? Which one? They, they are all different. I like this green one. Uh, it's $34. Well, that's not bad. Thank you very much. And thank you for the for the lower price on the jeans. <laughs> okay, you're welcome. Come back <laughs> soon. <laughs> thank you. Rosa, tell me. Rosa Esmeralda, you want to volunteer? Um, yes. Okay, Rosa, it's going to be with, let me find one, Santos Miguel, go ahead. Excuse me, how... How much are that jeans? Those, those, those. Those jeans? They are, they are only 59. And how much is this sweater? Which one? Oh, they are all different. They are all different. <laughs> they are all different, you say. <laughs> uh -huh. mm -hmm. I like this green one. Um, it thirty-four dollars. Uh huh. Well, 
that's not bad. Excellent job. Very good. Thank you. Thank you very much. Reactions for your friends, please send them there. Some love in the platform. Very good. And the last one that we have, the last conversation that we have here, it is this one. And it says, Sonia and the clerk. And she's talking about sunglasses. And it says, I like Sunglasses, it's two. You have it on your hand. Sunglasses. Those. 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 And they say which ones? Ones. Which ones? Plural. The small brown ones. 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 The one hundred ninety-nine dollars. One hundred ninety-nine dollars. Oh, they say. Well, that's very expensive. Excellent. So let's see. I am going to ask, let me see my volunteers who are going to be. Oh, Mr. Oscar is back. Okay, Oscarito, help me with Claudia. And later on, I am going to have uh, Rosita and Rosa Maria. <laughs> Rosa and Rosa. <clears throat> okay, Teacher, Oscar. Sorry, I have a question. Go ahead. Uh, so... Is similar that the question I made you yesterday about the glasses. Uh -huh. Yesterday they was uh, singular because we are talking about the, the color. Uh -huh. So if we don't talk uh, about the color or another uh, singular feature, how do I say? Characteristica. Uh -huh. Feature. You say feature. Ah, okay. Feature. Uh, sunglasses or glasses will be always plural. plural. Yes. Okay. If you're Thanks. talking, if you're talking general about the glasses, um, I don't know where mines are. I think it's right here. Let me see. I I have them right here. You see? Huh? I use them very much. Ooh, what a mess! I did. <laughs> okay, because. You cannot uh, tell me uh, how much are these glass because you don't have only one. You no, say how much are those, right? And okay. you have the this, uh, <laughs> the sunglasses. It's like the jeans or the shorts or the scissors, right? All of them are going to be plural, even if it is only one object. Because if you have only one object, you can say no teacher for solo un objeto, but it has two two glasses, mm. right? Yeah, that is your other teacher here with glasses. I'm going to be the other teacher. Ta -da! And here you have teacher <laughs> Nati. <laughs> okay. Es igual que, que los pantalones, ¿verdad? Yes. It's, no it's, es el pantalón, sino the pants. Yes, the pants or the shorts is the same as well. Shorts, scissors, eh, it's the same con las tijeras, mm -hmm. right? It's always plural. Okay. Good. So let's go here with... Eh, Okay, we were going to have Oscar and Claudia, right? Go yes. ahead. Right. I like to sunglasses over there. Which ones? The smart brown ones. They're 199. Oh, they are expensive. <laughs> they are expensive. <laughs> it's like, no, thank you. Thank you. Rosa and Rosa Maria, go ahead. Uh, light the sunglasses over there. Which ones? Uh, this now bronze ones. They are one hundred ninety one hundred ninety ninety dollar. Uh, on the oh, there a bench. Okay, you say they are expensive. It's like, oh, no, thank you. They are $199, $199. Good, thank you, volunteers. That was very awesome. So here, when we talk about the different objects, <laughs> when we talk about the different things that we use, we also need to remember the different materials that the objects are made of. For example, there in your house, you can have many different objects made of many different materials. For example, here we have cotton. Do you know the meaning of cotton? Yes. 
Algodón, right? Algodón, right? Yeah. Algodón, right? Cotton. Rubber. Plastic. Hule. Caucho. or caucho, right? Rubber, like the rubber boots, right? Hey, we have one answer already. What about gold? Oro. Oro. Oro, oro right? Gold ring. No, uh -huh. it is oro. In this case, it's oro because it's a material. <clears throat> For the color, it is golden. 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 If you have golden, <laughs> if you have golden, it's dorado. <laughs> Extra. <laughs> ok. <laughs> Nos van a venir a cobrar aquí el comercial. ¿eh? Cotton, rubber, gold. In this case, the material is oro. Silk. Seda. Seda. seda, seda. Right? Silk. Seda. seda. Leather. Cuero. Cuero. Silver. Plata. 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 Plastic. Plástico. 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 Lana. 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 Okay, I am going to give you, I am going to give you two minutes, two minutes to bring me one object from any of these materials. Go ahead. Un objeto de cualquiera de estos materiales. Go ahead. Look for one. A gold ring. Vayan a buscarlo y me lo enseñen. Ajá. Look for one material. One, one. Ajá. I have a plastic glass, a plastic bottle. Hey, you are very good. You are very good. Very smart. A wool sock. A wool sock. Hey, that's very nice. A wool sock. Good. What is that? It's a case for the headphone. Hey, that's very nice. It's made of plastic. Plastic. Good. Very good. A cotton, a cotton shirt. Hey, very good. Oscar. Cotton shirt. Very nice. Very nice. Uh huh. Jaime, what do you have there? Y, um, Estatua de Libertad. Uh -huh. it's a, it's a it's silver. Silver. It's silver. Hey, that's pretty awesome. Silver. Very nice. Let me see. What else do you have? Catering. <clears throat> what do you have there? Made of My paper. Wallet. My wallet is leather. Okay, that's pretty nice. Excellent. Okay, Alicia, what do you have? Teacher, I have the question. Hey, Alicia, your microphone. Wait, wait. Yeah. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice Okay, what is your question, Rosa? Hey, Alicia, your microphone is... Vidrio, glass. 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 And it is curious because glass is also basso, right? But if you are talking about the material, you say it's made of glass, okay? And if you tell me I want a glass of water, I know that you're talking about the basso, right? Excellent. Sandra, what was your object? Ah, you see, she put it away, huh? What is that? The seda? Oh, silk, silk. Six. Silk. Good, Alicia, hmm. you fix your microphone. Sí, se me olvidaba, estaba hablando ahí. Estaba apagado el micrófono. <laughs> yeah, we, we saw you and we were like, Alicia, Alicia. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay, my truck. Toys is a plastic. It's a plastic truck. A plastic truck. Good. It Very good job. A plastic truck. Thank Very you. nice. Yes, I have many of these here in my house, everywhere. So here we have a plastic bracelet, right? A plastic bracelet. Bracelet. Number two. Gold. A gold ring. Oh, a ring. gold a ring. Gold ring. A gold ring. A gold ring. A gold ring. What about the tie? A silk tie. A silk tie. Right, made of silk, right? A silk tie. What about the next one? A wool. A wool. A wool. Wool. Aha, wood. Yes, this is made of wool. Wool, wool, wool. Okay. 
De lana. Wool soup. Socks. Wool. Socks. And number five. A leather. A leather jacket. A leather jacket. A leather. 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 In this case, it's leather. A leather jacket. A leather jacket. A cotton. A cotton shirt. And silver. Silver earrings. Silver earrings and. Rubber. No, they are made rubber. of rubber. 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 Boots. rubber. Okay, you have rubber boots. Okay, you have a plastic bracelet. Gold, gold ring. A silk tie. Silk tie. Wool socks. Wool socks. A leather jacket. A leather jacket. A cotton shirt. A cotton shirt. Silver earrings. Silver earrings. Rubber boots. Rubber boots. Excellent job. Fantastic. So here, here I have some other. Uh, well, you have the categories, right? You have cotton, gold, leather, silk, plastic, and wood. How are you going to classify them to see if you didn't forget? Boots. Leather. Ah, it can be, it can be leather books or it can be plastic, plastic books. For sure you are not going to have gold books. Not, not to use hitting El Salvador. <laughs> what about pants? Leather, silk, leather, plastic pants. Really? Sí, lo que están ocupando para la pandemia, algo así para la lluvia. Ah, okay, okay, plastic. I am going to believe it. I am going to believe it. The bracelets. Gold. Uh, plastic. Gold. 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 Plastic. 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 <laughs> Plastic. And just that, right? The gloves. One thing. Uh, uh, Plastic. Uh, leather. Can be leather. It can be plastic. Silk. It can be wood. made of wood, made of bottom. 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 And silk. Right? Silk. Yeah, you don't have gold gloves because it would be like kind of kind of heavy, right? The shirts. Cotton. 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 Leather. A leather shirt. Leather. Leather. And wood. Imagine, imagine a wool shirt here in El Salvador. Antiguamente, sí. A mediodía in San Miguel. Wow. <laughs> so cool. Ooh, very nice. The jacket. Yeah. Jacket. Leather. 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 Okay. I, I have, I don't know, but I have never seen silk jackets. Have you seen them? Wool. 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 Una chaqueta de lana. Yeah. Uh -huh. when, when it's very. Yeah. Whenever, whenever, no, right? Fashion is fashion. And the necklace? <laughs> gold. 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 Leather. Plastic. 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 And I think just that, right? Un collar de lana. Gold. No, I think we cannot have cotton necklaces. That, that's not very common. Well, nowadays, yes, there are some that are like kind of threaded. Hay unos bordados. 
that it can be made of cotton or wool, right? We never know. So, but it was good, right? It was it was good for you to exercise your brain with the different materials. So here I have a little conversation about two jackets, right? They are buying jackets. And I need you please to check on the conversation and tell me if you have new words or new vocabulary. If you have new words or vocabulary, tell me, teacher, what's the meaning of, or teacher, how do you pronounce? Um, teacher, how would you, como es? Teacher, oh, pronounce meaning. Okay, how do you pronounce? Como se pronuncia? What's the meaning? ¿Qué significa? Uh -huh. uh, how do you pronounce? Yeah. Y what's the meaning? Uh, warmer? Warmer? Warmer, más caliente, right? Warmer. Warmer. Okay. Warmer. Okay, warm, it's the adjective, right? And warmer, it's the comparative. It's más caliente, right? Mm -hmm. If you add the warm. ER, warmer. Mm -hmm. warmer. Okay. What's Thanks. the meaning? Tag. What is the meaning? Tag. tag. Okay. Price tag. Price tag. What is a price tag? I am going to draw one here. Let me just make one. In some cases, the clothes have this little thing here with la the viñeta. price. Uh -huh. viñeta, the, price. Uh -huh. the price tag. And it says, oh, it doesn't have a price tag. tag. Mm -hmm. This is the tag, right? Viñeta. Or this one that you have right here, right? It's a tag as well. This one that you have in the jacket, it's also a tag. The one that you have here at the back on the clothing. Try it on. Any other question? Uh, what it means, the wool one. Wool. Wool ah, one. the wool, wool one. Lana. La que está hecha de lana, right? It is more stylish than the wool one. If you say the wool one, it's like la que está hecha. And you have the material here, wool. And wool oh. is the material that we have just studied, right? <laughs> Any other question? What is the meaning stylish? Stylish, good, very good question. When you say it's more stylish, uh, imagine that uh, if you go to your grandmother's house, for example, and she says, hey, put this dress, it's my dress. And maybe you have another dress that it's from your sister. Which one do you think it's more stylish? The one from your grandmother or from your sister? Mm, from my sister. From my sister, sister, right? <laughs> because maybe the one that your grandmother is going to give oh. you has flowers or this, a big cat here in the front or something <laughs> like that. But well, I have to admit, hay abuelas que son muy elegantes. I have to admit it. And stylish means that, right? With more style, more fashionable. Oh. That is the meaning of stylish. Más en la onda, más, más estilizado, con más eh, caché. Elegancia. Say it in Spanish, más elegancia more stylish, good. If you see the two jackets, if you see the two jackets, which one do you consider that is more stylish? I think the black one. The leather, the leather jacket. The leather jacket, the leather right? jacket. Because imagine if you are going to go to, to a party or a discotheque, are you going to take the light blue one? I don't think so. You're going to take the other one that it's like more fashionable, more not like more stylish and all that, right? It's cooler than the other one. It's like, it's very nice. So uh, going over the conversation we have here. Hey, look at these jackets. They are really nice. Which one do you prefer? In this case, we are talking about preferences. Which one do you prefer? I like the wool one better. Me gusta más la de lana. I like the wool, the wool one better. And when you say better, it's like me gusta más. I like this one. The wool one, why? It looks warmer. 
It's like, mm, it looks warmer. Well, I like the leather one better. And in this case, they are expressing preferences. And she says that the other one, for sure, is uh, it's better. I like the leather one better. It is more <clears throat> stylish than the wool one. Um, there is no price tag. Excuse me, how much is this much jacket? Is this? And for sure, it's four hundred ninety-nine. Would you like to try it on? Le gustaría probársela? Oh no, that's okay. But thanks anyway. Anyway, you're welcome. Would, would you pay? Would you pay four hundred ninety-nine dollars for a leather jacket? No. 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 It's, it's too like, expensive. No. And maybe if you have a Harley, a Harley motorcycle and everything, maybe. Harley Davidson. <laughs> yeah, but if you don't have it, no. I need the $499 better. So in this case, we introduce a little bit on the uh, comparatives. When you say it looks warmer, right? In this part Warm. over here, it looks warmer. For this case, as we have here, the word warmer, it is an introduction for comparisons. Have you studied comparatives before? ¿Ya han estudiado los comparativos? No? No. Never before? So that's what we're going to study in tomorrow's class. So you have to pay careful okay. attention to it. Today is the introduction and tomorrow we have the comparatives. When you say it is more stylish than, es más estilizada que, when you have two objects, you use comparatives. And you say, hey, teacher, but the pink one is better than the gold one. And you say, no, the pink one is bigger. It's bigger than the gold one. And you say, hey, but the gold one, it's uh, more expensive than the pink one. And you are comparing the two things. And this is very common when you go shopping because you have to compare different prices, right? You have to compare different objects. And that's why I introduced this topic today. And another comparison that you have here is like, I would like the wood one better. Like, no, prefiero esta. And it's like, no, but why? I like the other one better. And it says it's more stylish. It looks warmer, right? It looks warmer. warmer. And the comparatives happen only with the adjectives, okay? The comparatives happen only with adjectives. For example, if you have a, a dog, and I can show you, for example, what? If I show you my dog and say like, hey, my dog is more beautiful than your dog. And you show me your dog, right? And we start comparing. Or you say, hey, but I have a cat. Cats are better than dogs. No, but the cats are more beautiful. And then you can continue comparing and inventing comparisons with the adjectives, okay? So that is something that we are going to study a little bit the, in deep uh, tomorrow. Today, I am going to give you the introduction of this one. And for this, we are going to use the preferences. Which one do you prefer? And on the answer they have, I prefer the leather one. Which one do you like better? Which one do you like more? I like the leather one better or I like the leather one more. Okay, so if I tell you, uh, okay, students, if we are talking about jeans and casual pants, which ones do you prefer? Do you prefer jeans or casual pants? I prefer jeans one. Okay, if I give you the options, imagine that I tell you jeans or pants, you say, I prefer jeans. I prefer oh. pants. I prefer, I prefer, I prefer pants. jeans. Okay, so, and if I tell you, do you like jeans better or casual pants better? Better jeans. Pants better. I like jeans better excellent you say mm -hmm. i like jeans better no i like casual pants better for the ladies skirts faldas or shorts shorts 
So you say, I prefer. I prefer shorts. I prefer shorts. I prefer shorts. Okay. And let's see for the boys. Uh, sports shoes or uh, let me see. Casual. Casual. Or casual, casual. shoes. I prefer, I prefer casual shoes. Casual shoes. Casual, casual shoes. Okay, so that is about preferences, right? Which one do you prefer? If I say, do you prefer the cell phone or the TV? Cell phone. I prefer, I prefer the cell phone, you say. Do you prefer, do you prefer, um, let me see. Do you prefer uh, cable TV or national TV? Cable TV. Inter inter international TV. Cable. I prefer. Oh, I prefer international TV. I prefer international TV or not national I TV. Prefer national TV. Okay. Border. It's both. Bo like I prefer both. Well, I like both. I, I like, like both, and I'm both. going to write it for you here. When it says, if you don't want to choose and you say like, no, I keep both. You say, I like, I am going to write it here. Let me just fix it. I like both. I like both. Right, I like both. Ambas. Okay, let me see. Uh -huh. We are going to finish with the friendship. Cats or dogs, which ones do you prefer? I like both. I like both, right? Very good Anything. job. Anything. Let's see. Water or soda? Which one do you prefer? Or soda. I prefer water. 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 I prefer water. water. <laughs> I prefer. No, it's water. 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 Okay. water. water. I, I didn't water. say any other thing. They <laughs> say like I prefer water. Come on. I prefer water. <laughs> water. <laughs> it's like, oh, teacher, come on. It's like, I prefer water. Good. Let me see. Do you prefer? Do you prefer? Which one do you prefer? The mountain or the beach? The, the mountain. Beach. The, the, beach. Beach. the beach. The beach. Mountain. I prefer the mountain. I okay. I prefer the mountain. I prefer the beach. I like both. Excellent. I like both. <laughs> Let me see. Which one do you like better? Hot weather or cold weather? Hot weather. I prefer. I like cold. Uh, like cold I prefer cold weather. I prefer cold weather. Cold right, cold weather. Or the barrel. Yeah, cold <laughs> weather. Yeah, the barrel in the morning, yes. And for this one is about preferences. Right? This one is about preferences. I don't talk about pupusas because if not, this is going to be a conflict fight. If I say, do you prefer cheese pupusas or mixed pupusas? Ah, and it was like, ah. I prefer cheese pupusas with loroco. Ah, cheese pupusas. I like both. You mixed see? pupusas. I, like I prefer I like mixed pupusas. So that, that is about preferences, right? Preferences, which one do you prefer? And you give the options. Or which one do you like better? Or which, which one do you like do more? You and you give the two options. So the last one that I'm going to say, which one do you like more? Ice cream or chocolates? Ice cream. I love ice cream. Chocolate. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream. Ice cream or chocolate. I prefer chocolate. Ice cream. I like both you. <laughs> okay, good. And uh, when you use the adjectives is when you give more information about this. And in this part, that is the class that we're going to study tomorrow, uh, you give me uh, the reason. And if I say, which one do you prefer, chocolate or ice cream? And you say, oh, teacher, I prefer chocolate. Uh, it is more delicious. It is better. It is the best, right? That's why. And you give me reasons why you, uh, you choose that specific option that I gave you, right? That is why we use 
comparisons in this case. If I ask you, do you prefer cats or dogs? You say, oh, no, no, I prefer cats because they are more loyal, because they are uh, friendlier than dogs, because they are more beautiful than the dogs. And you can give me more reasons using comparatives, okay? So that is the use that we have here. And I just have a little introduction for this one. I'm going to erase the tripachuca here. And the comparative forms. How do you use the comparative forms? In this case, you have the adjective, the ER form, and then. How do you use it with different adjectives? You say, for example, the small. I'm going to add it yeah, here. Big. Small, yeah, and you have big. A smaller. A smaller. Smaller. You can have big. Bigger. 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 You have a pretty. Prettier. In this case, you change it, right? Prettier. Prettier. Happy, happier. Right? And that's that's the way you change it, right? Happy. When you have the Y at the end, cuando terminan en Y. You have More to change happy. it for, no, you say happier. 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 Happier, okay? You don't say more happy because more is for the long adjectives. More se usa para los adjetivos largos. For, for example, if you have beautiful. Beautiful. You have beautiful. Okay, if you have beautiful, tienen un adjetivo largo, de más de una o dos sílabas. So you say beautiful, you cannot say beautifuler. You say it's more. More beautiful. More beautiful. More beautiful. Mm. Okay, more beautiful. Mm. If you have, for example, intelligent. Very intelligent. Intelligent. Oh, intelligent. Sorry. I, I, very intelligent. intelligent. Okay, intelligent. So you say more intelligent. I think it's, yeah, it's one or with two L's. I don't remember. Yeah, it's two, right? A ver, one L or two L's? Voy a poner a prueba, vamos a ver. One L or two L's? Ah. Two, two L's. It's with two, two L's, right? Two L's. It's more two intelligent. Two L's. Ajá, yeah, lo estoy probando L's. con su basic vocabulary. Intelligent. Intelligent. More intelligent. So, in this case, if you have a, it is with double L, right, in this. So you say, in the, okay, sorry, okay, there we go. More intelligent. So if the adjective is long, you are going to use more. If the adjective is short, you use ER. Oh, okay. okay. So that is, that is something, something important to keep in mind. If the adjective is big, like beautiful, intelligent, amazing, okay? You can say for the uh, the adjective in this case, amazing. We, we can use very teacher. Very uh -huh, but I, I am going to I am going to to explain you that a little bit more. Say amazing. You say this one is. More you cannot amazing. say. Amaz amazing, no, that's not possible. You say it's more, more amazing. amazing. And if you say it is very amazing, you are intensifying, but you are not comparing. More amazing. Ajá. Si le ponemos, por ejemplo, beautiful and very beautiful, solo lo estamos intensificando. Linda, beautiful. muy linda. But if you say she is more beautiful, it is más linda. Okay. Uh -huh. So that's that's the difference. Okay. So that is what we are going to study tomorrow. So what I am going to ask you, please, for tomorrow, I am going to go here. I am going to ask you here to investigate a little bit more on adjectives. Okay. Bring as many adjectives as possible for tomorrow. Okay. Investigate about adjectives. Mr. Santos, tell me. Una duda, eh, ¿se podría usar el adjetivo smart? Yes, 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 yes you, can, you can use it. 
any so any no adjective okay yeah with the comparatives you can use any adjective any adjective more, more, more. and for a smart more. you say she is smarter okay that would be the form smarter yes it's a smarter and for tomorrow please i am going to ask you to investigate a little bit about adjectives okay investigate about adjectives and a little bit about comparatives because there are some rules so you can bring them in the class and it's going to be easier for you to go over the rules okay mr rene what is your question? Uh, I, I, I use more when the adjective uh, have uh, three syllables. Yes, when it has more than two syllables, okay. if it has three syllables or more, it's more. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, es bueno recordarlos como los adjetivos pequeños, ER. Los adjetivos largos, more. Okay. Yeah, so we're going to check on that tomorrow. Please, if you can go and do some research tomorrow, some investigation about comparatives and the rules, it would be perfect because that's what we're going to study in class. Well, my dear students, it is time for us to finish. It has been a great pleasure for me to uh, serve you once again, and I am going to see you in the next class. So I am going to go with the last question. Do you prefer coffee or milk? I prefer milk. Coffee. Coffee. Uh, both. Coffee. both. Coffee, milk, or tea? Which one do you prefer? Coffee. Uh, coffee. In the morning, coffee. coffee. At night. Tea. A no, nice tea. Orange. Okay. Orange <laughs> juice. <laughs> okay. So you can drink you can drink a, a cup of tea or a cup of milk before going to bed. And I wish you to have a fantastic night. I am going to see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. See you. Hi, thank you, teacher. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. -bye. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye. <laughs>